AI is no more a buzzword. Each and every sector is been integrating it in some way or the other, from HR to operations to front end, back end, everything. How is construction standing right now with the adoption of AI? The architects, what the architect needs is the pure architectural solution. An engineer needs a pure engineering solution. A contractor needs a pure contractor related solution. That they are adopting an ethical way of AI. We have seen the AI, you know, misused into the different sectors. So assistive AI is where we have created agents which help our team members do their activity. We have started to explore, say, say for example, conversational intelligence. We record conversation with our customers, but can you really get insights on the, how the conversation went and what was effective versus non-effective conversation, what led to success? So AI, till recently, it was an unknown animal. Now everyone knows more or less what is the animal going to do to us. Now using the AI agent to fetch information, do, do its task and all. Tomorrow, once that is done, then the agent can be given to the end user itself. So instead of uh, troubling the HR business partner, they can speak to the agent and get the work done. Agentic AI can replace that conversation. I think agentic AI, it doesn't look like it's a bot talking. It's actually look like a person who's having conversation with you. The AI importance into the any sector, but look at the benefits out of it. The architect needs to go in the traditional way. They will take a lot of time. Imagine that so with AI driven, a generative design gives them a quick options to them so that they don't save time, but just a visualization with an AI enablement that gives an options to them that which is the one which is the project owner is looking for. We, we have to take you through a long journey, maybe a two, three year down the line, but the message is clear internally, very clear, that's something the way we are going to work in future and there is no two way about it.